Leave the situation for God to handle. Exodus 14, verse 14. The Lord shall fight for you, and ye shall hold your peace. There are things that we are battling in our lives right now. What we believe is that we can overcome these situations. We are being faced with overwhelming challenges, challenges that are making us think of giving up. There are some things we should never stress ourselves over. There are some things that are not ours to sort out. There are some things that we need to look at and pass to who has the power to take care of them for us. People are trying to pull you down. They are planning everything they can just to make sure you don't make it in life. And you are crying. You are trying your best to defeat them. This is not what you should be sad about. This is not your battle. It is the Lord's battle. Anyone who challenges you is challenging God. Paul was a man of God who performed a lot of miracles. People knew Paul to be a powerful man by the grace of God. He wrote letters and preached the word of God, but some people were not happy about him. This is to let you know that no matter how good and perfect you are, no matter how good you have been to the people around you, there are people who will always wish bad on you. These people hated Paul so much that they wished him dead. Acts 23, verses 12 to 13. And when it was day, certain of the Jews banded together and bound themselves under a curse, saying that they would neither eat nor drink till they had killed Paul. And they were more than forty which had made this conspiracy. There are some battles that you should leave alone for God to take care of for you. You feel like everything is not going well for you. The Lord will take care of everything for you. Why should we bother ourselves over the things that God can handle for us? This is the time for us to stop stressing ourselves over the things that God has already taken care of or things that God will take care of for us. It doesn't matter how tough the situation is. God will handle it for you. It doesn't matter how great your enemies are. Just go to God in prayer, and He will deal with them for you. The first thing that God has taken care of is the guilt of sin, the reward of sin, which is death. Don't be bothered about how great your sin is. When you come to Christ, He will wash you clean. John 15 verse 13 Greater love has no one than this, to lay down one's life for one's friends. Every time we say the three popular words, I love you, it is very easy to chant. Anyone could say it any time as it's been said that it is lust until the time of sacrifice comes. How many people will be ready to sacrifice anything to help their loved ones? This is what Jesus was telling his disciples, and not just them, but us too. The verse that precedes 13 says, My command is this, Love each other as I have loved you. It's a simple command. Love others as Jesus loved you. How did Jesus love you? What did he do to show his love for you? Romans 5 verse 8 But God demonstrates his love for us in this. While we were still sinners, Christ died for us. Jesus had to die for us to show how much he loved us. There is no love greater than this. There are things that we need to know about the love of God. When you were being beaten down, when you were being rejected, the love of God found you. When sin is making you useless, the love of God found you. What people call love is not exactly love, but lust. Lust could make a sacrifice too. Some people would do anything for someone 
just to get what they have lusted over. When it comes to love, you don't care what you gain or not. When Jesus was telling us to love others, he was telling us to love without any form of expectancy. When you make a mistake, don't make the situation bring you down, but just go to God and let him handle it for you. Ask for forgiveness always, and he will take care of the rest. The second thing we need to know is that we cannot fight the spiritual warfare ourselves. We must allow God to handle every battle of our lives. The Bible says in Ephesians 6 verse 12 that, For our struggle is not against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the authorities, against the powers of this dark world and the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly realms. Many things that we see here on earth and things that happen are not just ordinary. The truth is that many of these things are beyond the physical. Not everyone can see this because not everyone's eyes are being opened to see in the spirit realm. Elisha and his servant were surrounded by soldiers. Elisha's servant couldn't see what Elisha was seeing. He couldn't see in the spiritual realm. And then Elisha prayed. 2 Kings verse 17 And Elisha prayed, Open his eyes, Lord, so that he may see. Then the Lord opened the servant's eyes, and he looked, and saw the hills full of horses and chariots of fire all around Elisha. After God opened his eyes, he saw that God is handling the situation already. I pray that every situation that is causing problems for us, God will take care of them for us. We cannot fight these battles ourselves. We must allow God to do his work. We must surrender everything to him. The spiritual warfare is greater than what we think we can handle. It is only God who can handle them. Why should we be running everywhere because we are being troubled? Why should we stress ourselves because the devil is attacking us? The Bible says in Exodus 14 verse 14 that the Lord shall fight for you, and ye shall hold your peace. You will never have to worry about the battles, because the Lord will handle them for you. What we need in this life is the ability to see beyond the physical. What we are facing in this life is not natural. They are breathed or inspired by the dark forces. Ephesians 6 verse 12 is telling us to redirect our prayer to change our target. For our struggle is not against flesh and blood, 